Hey there folks, Troy Groach from IntoDrums.com here with another lesson for you. In today's lesson, I'm going to be taking you through another warm-up that I like to do around the kit. That involves playing four notes on the hands and two notes on the feet. Now, one of the things I really like about this exercise is the fact that it helps you get from the right side of the kit to the left side of the kit, which actually isn't that easy a thing to do, but it's something that I have struggled with growing up as a young drummer. So it gave me an option to use in a lot of circumstances, which has helped me greatly. So again, the basis of this linear pattern is playing four notes on the hands and two notes on our feet. You can play this with a single pedal or a double pedal, it's up to you. I personally would encourage you to try and do it on a single pedal. You may be a little bit slower off the mark, but in the long run, it's gonna really sever that dependence on a double pedal for playing fast notes on your foot. So I'll leave that up to you. I'm gonna do it with a single pedal today. It's a great idea with any of these linear patterns before you start moving them around the kit and trying to get comfortable that way, get comfortable with it just on the snare drum. So I'll demonstrate that for you now at 40 beats per minute. Now that you're comfortable with it on the snare drum, we're gonna start moving it around the kit. So we're gonna start snare, snare, one, one, foot, foot. Then with the next cycle, we're gonna start on tom one. We're gonna to go one, one, two, two, foot, foot. Then two, two, floor, floor, foot, foot. Then we're gonna go floor, floor, snare, snare, foot, foot. However, when we are moving around the kit at the start, we're moving clockwise. So when you're moving around clockwise, you're gonna lead with your right hand. That way you're not gonna be tripping over your left hand. But because when we get to the floor time, we're going to the snare drum, I want you to switch it. I want you to go left, right, foot, foot. And we're gonna go floor, floor, snare, snare, foot, foot. Then again, because we're going clockwise, we're gonna to switch to right hand. So right, left, right, left, foot, foot. Right, left, right, left, foot, foot. Right, left, right, left, foot, foot. Left, right, left, right, foot, foot. And then we're gonna just continue that cycle around and around. So let me demonstrate that now at 40 beats per minute. Now that's it at a nice slow tempo. And just to keep it a little bit more rounded, we're gonna reverse it because it's always a great idea if you can play it right hand, try and play it left hand. You may never do it, but if being able to do it and not need to do it is better than needing to do it and not being able to do it. Does that even make sense? I don't know, it should make sense. Let's do that now at 40 beats per minute. Cool, that was at 40, now I'm gonna bump it up to 80, play it clockwise around the kit, and then I'll play it counterclockwise around the kit, just to give you an idea of how it sounds a little bit quicker.
Now you can obviously take that as fast as you can and get comfortable with it and the sky's the limit, it's up to you. You're only limited by yourself. So challenge yourself and hold it and see how fast you can get it. The only thing I would say is try not to rush the tempo. When you're going for speed over everything else, you're really gonna sacrifice the clarity, the accuracy, and all that kind of stuff. So when you do go fast, it's gonna sound muddy and messy and it's you're not gonna be left with a really usable chop. So what's the point? You're much better off slowly increasing the tempo and making sure that when you are playing it, it's sounding nice and clean. That's where you're gonna get the best use out of this. Now, the last option I'm gonna give you for today is a combination of the two. We're gonna go clockwise around the kit and then when we get to the snare drum, we're gonna reverse it. The only difference is before when we would reverse it, we would start on the floor tom. However, this time when we're going counterclockwise, I'm gonna start on the snare, go to the floor tom, and then back around. It's just gonna make it feel more like a well-rounded exercise in itself. And then obviously you can do the same in reverse. You can start on the floor tom, go around, back to the floor tom, and into the snare and around. You'll get the vibe. It just, like I said, makes more sense to me to play this this way as an exercise. So let's give that a go at 80 beats per minute. Okay, now let's boost that to 120. another lesson if you did like it please hit the thumbs up i would really appreciate it and if you're not already a subscriber i would love you to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of when new lessons are available if you've got any lesson requests please hit me up in the comments below i'll do my best to try and get those to you so for now i'm out of here i'll be back next week with another lesson for you so until then have a fantastic week and as always happy practicing